Hi, in today's uh, science video we're going to investigate some sound and um, I'll explain at the end of the video exactly um, how this works and a few more facts about sound. So we're going to do a thing called the screaming cup and to do this you need a plastic or a paper cup. You want a um, handy towel, a tissue or um, a sponge, um, a toothpick or a skewer and some string and cotton works best you can use nylon string but cotton tends to work a little bit better and i've just got some scissors just to cut the string and also we're going to end up putting a wee hole in the top of the cup so that's what the scissors are for so when i come back i'll have it all ready to show you all right so i've got it all prepared and it's really easy so all i've done is i've put um, a hole through the top of the cup and just threaded the string through reasonably long but the, the length isn't overly important but certainly dangling lower than the cup and I've just used the toothpick just to secure it so it doesn't come through the hole. You could tie a few knots in, but this just secures it really well. And the paper towel, or your sponge, or your tissue, I've just folded up and I've just put some water on it. And the idea now is that we just run the wet towel, paper towel, along the string, and our paper cup or plastic cup will act as a speaker. So, sorry if you've got kids doing this it can be quite annoying so we just go so there's a few different ways you can do it we can make it sound a bit like a squawking chicken like this or you can just run it through once just it's just a wee bit of fun um, and use your imagination if we just come closer once more, and you can actually tell, it's actually really loud, this speaker's working really well. So that is our screaming cup.